ExxonMobil announcing that it has entered a definitive agreement to acquire Pioneer Natural Resources. The merger is an all-stock transaction that's valued at $59.5 billion, or $253 a share, based on Exxon's closing price last Friday. Joining us right now to break it all down in a first on CNBC interview is Pioneer Natural Resources CEO Scott Sheffield and Exxon CEO Darren Woods. And gentlemen, welcome. Thank you for joining us this morning. Thank you, Becky. Good to see you. Yeah. Thank Good you, Becky. You I'm always talking with um, Jim, Brian, and David. It's first time on your show. so Well, well, we welcome you to the program, and we appreciate it. Um, gentlemen, this is a deal that has kind of been out there in the ether for a while. A lot of speculation about this, reports that this had been happening. In fact, Darren, we asked you about some of those reports back in April, and at the time, you said, uh, you know, you wouldn't believe too much of the rumor mill out there, that you had a lot of cash on hand, but that it wasn't burning a hole in your pocket. I think your point was you could do something, but it would have to be at the right price. What, what happened between then and now? How did this deal come together? Well, I, I think what we're talking about a deal, what we talked about is we have to find an opportunity where the combined entity offers more than any entity separately could do. So the our one plus one has to equal three equation. And so the challenge that we've been focused on and looking at opportunities is where can we bring the unique skills and capabilities that ExxonMobil has to bear with another company that has skills that complement that and then together create uh, industry leading value. And I think with this deal, we've been working hard in our own business to drive technology, to drive our approaches and improvements, and then finding an opportunity to, to partner with Scott's organization, their capabilities, bringing that in, their tier one acreage, our technology, our development approach, frankly brings um, higher, higher recovery at lower cost and the opportunity to reduce emissions. And I think that that kind of came around just r roughly the last few weeks as we were talking about the opportunity set. Hey, Scott, you are not just the CEO at Pioneer. You're also the founder. You came back uh, to run the company again, and a lot of people kind of speculated that maybe it would be you putting together a deal, um, kind of capping off a, a, a great run with this company and what you've done. Why, why ExxonMobil? Yeah, well, obviously, um, um, over the last 40, I've been here 45 years, Becky, and I've only had two offers for the company. First offers back in 1985 when the company sold um, for about four years. And then um, Darren approached me with an offer a couple of weeks ago. Uh, this is the best company uh, to take 100% stock um, in the world, in my opinion. What Darren has done with this company over the last um, few years and and turning it around, uh, they've outperformed all the majors across all indexes. Uh, they have great potential with the Permian now becoming the uh, lar largest Permian producer with Guyana, with uh, Papua New Guinea, uh, with all their downstream capability. It's really the best stock to own over the next several years. As a founder, you have an awful lot of, of stake in the company, stock in the company too. Are you going to keep the ExxonMobil shares or will you sell? No, definitely. Uh, I'm going to keep it. They have a great dividend, one of the highest dividends in the S&P 500. So I'm very excited about that. Hey, Darren, is this a, a bet that fossil fuels are here for the foreseeable future, that despite all this talk of people trying to transition completely off of it, this is a pretty major bet, the biggest deal that Exxon's done since it acquired Mobil back in, in, in the last century. Um, what, it, what does this say about your future uh, and the future for fossil fuels? Well, I think as I've said uh, many times before in the past on your show, Becky, I think fossil fuels, as the, the world looks to transition and find lower sources of affordable energy with lower emissions, fossil fuels, oil and gas are going to continue to play a role over time. That may, may diminish with time. The rate of that is, is I think, um, not very clear at this stage. But it will be around for a long time. This is really around, this is betting on the capabilities, the people of our two organizations, the technologies that we've developed to basically more efficiently recover resources at a lower cost uh, and a better environmental footprint so that we are actually advancing the ambitions of a lower emissions future by driving down, using our combined capabilities to drive down emissions, produce a lower to carbon intensity uh, 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 oil and gas, and um, basically push, continue to be the most responsible operator for providing oil and gas for as long as the world needs that. So it's it's more of a bet on our people and our capability and our technolo technologies than it is about the future of oil and gas. 
Hey, Darren, uh, hoping you can address the issue of regulators in all of this and, and how you think the Biden administration is going to react to this transaction. We've seen a number of big headline grabbing transactions, of course, uh, catch the ire uh, of this administration and the Department of Justice. Have you had conversations at all uh, with this administration? I think, uh, Andrew, uh, you know, the context to look at this deal in is the size of the oil and gas industry. And so while we talk about this being a large uh, merger, a large transaction, when you look at it in the context of the overall oil markets and, and gas markets, even if you look at it in the context of the Permian production, together, while Scott and I will have a large large business together, it would still be less than 15 percent of the production coming out of the Permian. So I think from a scale standpoint, uh, we're still a small player in what is a very large market. So we don't anticipate any regulatory issues here. Uh, gentlemen, let's talk a little bit about what your production capabilities would be when you put this together. You mentioned 15 percent, Darren, but I, I think you also think that with your technologies, you're going to be able to get more out of these wells than, than, than otherwise. Is, is that the case? So the, the work we've been doing, and I've talked about, I think, quite a bit in the past, is challenging our technology organization to double the recovery rate. Today, if you look at unconventional resources, recovery rates, rates are fairly uh, low within the industry given the challenges associated with, with fracking, extracting that resource out of the rock. We've made a lot of progress in that space, and we've got a lot, a lot more progress to come. There are a number of emerging technologies that we are trialing in the field that we think will continue to improve the recovery rate. We've got a lot of work we've been doing to reduce the cost of that recovery, and so we've got kind of a double uh, uh, double benefit here is a lower cost to, to drill and to complete the wells and then higher recovery. And so our expectation is with the tier one acreage, which frankly uh, is the best that Midland has to offer that Scott in Scott's portfolio, applying that technology to Scott's portfolio allows us to more effectively re recover resources, recover more resources, do it cheaper. And then as I said, with the additional technology that we brought to bear around uh, monitoring methane emissions and the technology that we're bringing in, the scale that we've created with this, and the ability to monitor centrally across all of our operations to make sure that we're focusing on the areas of emissions and reducing those brings that lower emissions footprint. So there's a lot of benefits to this, and, and a lot of it is based on the technology that we've been working on developing. And we today have, separately as two companies, very similar uh, plans in terms of growing our production. This will potentially add to that, but it will certainly lower the cost of it.